Here we are in step number four of the individual tree braids hairstyle. In this step, I'm gonna be giving you some tips and tricks on how to keep your scalp and hair healthy and clean, as well as how to keep your style looking fresh. The very first tip that I'm going to share is that you have to incorporate your hair care regimen with your products, but your products have to be brought down to a watery consistency. So what you want to do is have an applicator bottle designated for each specific product that you use to take care of your hair. So typically you have your shampoo, your rinse conditioner, your leave-in moisturizer, your oil sealant, or any other products that you use in your regimen as well. Use a separate applicator bottle for each product, put a little bit of product into each bottle, and then fill it up with some water so that it's at a watery consistency. The reason why this is the most important part of your hair care regimen is because you have to make sure that you're keeping your hair moisturized as well as clean so when you actually go into the shower or to your sink to wash your hair and your scalp you have to make sure that the products can easily go through your braids and also lubricate your scalp and also because of the watery consistency it will easily rinse off when you're actually rinsing your hair so use an applicator bottle or a spray bottle with some of your shampoo for example shampoo and water and then spray it along your scalp use the pads of your fingers to gently massage your scalp in your hair so that way all of the debris will be lifted such as dead skin cells dirt and even product buildup after you've done that to actually massage your scalp with your uh, watery consistency shampoo then you're going to rinse your scalp and hair with warm water if this helps, put all of your hair into four or five large braids or ponytails to keep the hair from being out of the way so that washing and shampooing and things like that will be a very simple process. So then when you're using your conditioner, bring it to a watery consistency and put it on your hair. Avoid your scalp so that you can avoid product buildup, but apply the conditioner and run it through your actual braids. So that way you're actually moisturizing your hair even though it's braided with your weave and then use water to rinse out the remaining product and so on and so forth for your moisturizers and things like that. So now my second tip is that after you've washed your hair and conditioned and done everything you needed to do for your hair care regimen, make sure that you're daily applying some type of moisturizer to your scalp. Now this isn't necessary for your hair if you feel like you can retain moisture well. And if you can't, use your conditioner, water down with water, and then spray your braids so that way it stays as moisturized as long as possible or as much as you need it to. For some individuals, they have to apply moisture to their hair every two or three days so even though you're wearing braids go ahead and spray your braids with uh, some of your conditioner and water every two to three days now it's important that you keep your scalp moisturized for a number of reasons this is going to stop your hair from getting severely dry and it's also is going to maintain a very neat appearance to your hair and scalp if you're allowing your scalp to constantly get dry you're gonna have dandruff all over your braids and you're gonna have to shampoo more frequently than what you actually need to so my tip is that daily you want to dip your fingers in a little bit of coconut oil or warm it up with your fingers if it's um, solid and then you're going to just run your fingers down your parts this is going to keep your scalp moisturized and healthy so that way you're not having a lot of issues with dandruff and you don't have to incorporate some type of conditioner washing or things like that along the way that's unnecessary for you to do now, my very last tip is that when you're going to bed, you gotta preserve your hair with some type of satin or silk material. The reason why is because if you are sleeping on a cotton pillowcase, typically, or if you're typically sleeping with a cotton scarf, the cotton is very absorbent and it will suck out any and every piece of moisture or water that's keeping your scalp and hair healthy. So when you actually wake up, your hairline will be more dry, your braids will look frizzy and dry, and this can lead to a lot of breakage. So to avoid this, wear a large silk or satin bonnet depending on how voluminous your hairstyle is or sleep on a silk or satin pillow case so that way when you actually wake up in the morning and um, get ready to prepare your hair whether you're styling it for the next day or just to wear it as is your hairline isn't dry you don't have to constantly apply a moisturizer to keep your hair and scalp healthy so just be sure also that when you're going to bed that you pineapple your hair Depending on how long your extensions are, it may be best for you to just put a bonnet over your head or to sleep with a pillowcase. But if you have very long extensions with your individual tree braids, I suggest that you gather all of your hair up into the highest ponytail you could possibly do at the very top of your head and just wrap a ponytail holder around it. 
That's simply called pineappling your hair. So that way when you actually lay down, you can lay on either side without the hair being in your way because the hair is at the top of your head. So those are my tips for keeping your hair healthy, your scalp healthy, as well as keeping your style looking fresh. So incorporate those tips to maintain your look. And then in the very next step, step number five, I will be showing you the finished results to the actual individual tree braids hairstyle.